Hello, everyone. So great to be back with you. Okay, thank you for tuning in to my podcast. Today we will be doing Virgo. Hello, happy birthday, Virgo. You have a birthday coming up. Happy birthday. We are going to do a timeless Virgo love reading. Yes, I've been MIA a bit. I've been taking this month off to regroup. You know, just trying to get my mind right. And, you know, I've been uh, not so focused lately. You know, it's been difficult for me to get focused. But, you know, being that the grind is rolling in in September, whatever grind we're going to have, we don't know. Uh, We're taking it day by day. But being that the grind is coming in rolling in in September I wanted to get some readings done for you guys to let you know that I haven't forgotten about you I love you thank you for (laughs) just hanging in there with me and if you're new to my channel or podcast if you're watching my video or podcast hello welcome remember to click that like button and that notification button so that you can get the latest updates that I do upload Um, So far, I'm not on a particular uh, schedule, you know, so that's why it's good to click that notification bell. Okay, so let's get into your reading, Virgo. Let's see the energies that are surrounding you, Virgo, and what are the messages from the Queen of the Moon Oracle. That's what I will be pulling first. Queen of the Moon Oracle. Let's see what's in store for you. The first card I pulled is Extremes and right under the hot moon. Extremes. Okay. The second card I'm pulling for you is Growth. Okay, so these are the energies that are surrounding you. This is what you may be going through. Extreme growth. And boundaries, okay, which are very important. We all have our boundaries to uh, set here. And with the extreme, you are learning how to handle crisis you know, what we go through with calm and resilience. You're seeking the balance in superior to seeking extremes. There are better ways to handle conflict that rage and outrage. There may be someone who seeks to disrupt your business or life in some way. This too shall pass. Okay, so that is the message for you for extreme. And then we are going to move a little bit further to growth and just get that message and see what that growth message is. Reject stagnancy to get unstuck. Take action. The choice to grow should be made. Expect growing pains when making huge changes in your life. Change is a natural part of life and cannot be pushed against forever. Change should have aim and purpose. Be courageous. You will blossom. Wow, that's amazing. And by the way, speaking of that, um, I wanted to say I'm trying to get a call in number. Uh, I'm going to be doing some live streams and I want you guys to call in. Um, So uh, stay tuned for that, too. We are just going to go over boundaries, boundaries, which is very important to have, you know, and with boundaries, judging what you need and what you don't need allows you to place healthy boundaries. You teach people how to treat your you judge what is healthy and right for you with clarity and care. Simplify. Okay, so those are the energies of Virgo that's uh, surrounding you. And let's get into the reading. 
Remember that if you're listening to my podcast, remember to like, follow, heart, whatever you do there. Okay. So the first card we are going to put down is the Six of Pentacles. This is a place where you're giving and you're receiving. You're giving and receiving, okay? So you're balancing that out. However, in your past, you may have experience with the Ten of Swords, uh, something that came to an end, something that might have came to a difficult end, but it was something that you had to do. You have the King of Cups over you, a water sign, Virgo, whether it's Pisces, uh, Scorpio, or Cancer. And then you have the devil beneath, okay, that karmic energy, that karmic relationship, or let's call it an energy that's coming through, but then you have the sun shining. So you have that Leo energy coming through, that abundance coming through. Uh, so it could be something with the devil that's weighing you down. Um, something that you may need to shift or redirect. But as you are moving forward, you have the sun energy here. Following the sun energy, uh, you have the five of pentacles. So there's a bit of a struggle even after that. Um, feeling like you're left out in a cold, perhaps. Um getting the silent treatment possibly but it feels like there's some changes and shifting that could be going on in your life of uh, Virgo may have had some challenges with health as well okay you have the page of swords so new information is coming in for you and then you got that wish card. Abundance is coming in for you. Your heart's desire. So I feel like, Virgo, if you have been or if you are going through struggle, um, it's something that you can overcome. I feel like it's going to make you stronger. Um, you may have this particular person by your side with that King of Cups. Someone is carrying love in their heart for you. But it's mixed with that devil. So whether it's an ex-person, a lover, um, someone from your past, just anyone that's bringing some type of bad, dark energy, it looks like the sun will shine and that's something you're going to overcome. And I even see the Knight of Swords coming up in the, in the future. So I feel like for some of you with this Ten of Swords in your past may have had to change a direction and it may have been difficult for you. So it could be someone coming in your future to resurface in your future because I see that Knight of Swords coming in. So, but that Wheel of Fortune is turning in a good direction and I see the Two of Cups. So it looks like things are going to start looking up for you with that Two of Cups coming in. Um, engagement, um, talking, uh, meeting up, uh, having a lunch, having a dinner, uh, having some celebration with the three of cups coming in a little bit of a party. Um, it looks like an occasion is coming through as well. Um, some type of celebration is coming in. Also, I see so good tidings. Maybe it's going to yeah, go through a celebration on your birthday. Uh, but I see and then I see that King of Pentacles, actually, that's coming in, going a little bit deeper. So I see that Virgo energy. That could be you uh, because, you know, that's Virgo. So I can see that energy. I see, I feel this is you representing you. Um, I feel like you will be doing some type of different work as well, as well. And it feels like some type of engagement with other people. Uh, that's what I'm seeing here. 
So some spirit is telling me something with work as well that's coming through. But also love and relationship I see. Oh, I see a reconnection here. So for some of you, there could be a reconnection or you're going to be connecting with someone that you desire as well. So it looks good for you, Virgo. I will end it here. Uh, let me know how the reading resonates with you. Um, you know, click that notification bell. Also leave your comments in the comment section. Also, um, share the video. I mean, and the podcast. Share the podcast. Share it. Okay. And um, I will definitely be tuning in to you really, really soon. Until next time, God bless you.